in the same way that Chloe had like a sort of story to hers, I would have loved to have heard like why you did what you did. But um, again, like it was not, I, again, I, I feel like we're gonna say this a lot. Nothing tonight was bad by any means, so we were really nitpicking. But no, it was great. Also, if you have that hair and ginger, I'm stealing it. Thank you so much, Brad. Finally, Marky, thoughts on Venus. Strong, and I think we all would have just loved for you to have done that. But the thing is, you don't know until you do these things. Like, we can sit here and say that, but we're, we've been doing this over and over. Do you know what I mean? We know what works and what doesn't. So, the fact that you're brave and you put yourself out there, that's how you find out what you're good at and what you do. So, take that. You're good at that second bit, that characterization. You're just entertaining. No matter what happened, you entertained us. So, um, that was brilliant. So, thank you. Thank you so much, judges. And finally, we're going down to Eve Divine Thoughts of Eve tonight. Eve, you're very talented to put a guy on stage. It was absolutely like just beautiful to watch. And I was I was dying for a club remix to kick in. Like I'm not gonna lie, if you juxtapose that beautiful star to like boom, 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 like that would be a great kicker. And it just it kind of it went on too long for me, like, and, and also you were very static, so I would have loved you to have, like, moved and, like, really got into it, like, I know that um, a lot of instrumentalists can really just lean into the power of the instrument, and I'd love you to have done that, and this look is gorgeous, absolutely love it, stunning, love the fur coat, love the sequence, we're not a fan of sequence here, <laughs> so, yeah, but just think about how you can always shock and surprise people, and um, so the standard version of Phantom was a bit too predictable, but if you went for like, I think a mega mix of Phantom, or a full club world 1999 version, with the violin over the top of it, the crowd would have fucking ate it up. So like, just think of stuff like that in the future, I would say. Thank you so much, Tom. Moving down to Ferrans, and your thoughts on Eve. Hello? Hello? That was my pacemaker, sorry. Um, yes, I think your outfit for your performance was lovely, very on point. I could imagine like someone sitting first chair, doing violin, wearing that, that was very cool. I do think there were points where I would have liked you to get a little bit closer to the mic, because I feel like there were just certain points where there were already strings on the track and I wanted to hear you specifically. Um, I think your control. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh yes, I think the uh, the mask as well. I can see you trying to adjust it like it was annoying, and I don't know if it's if you felt it, but it kind of showed on your face where you looked a bit like not a bit cross at yourself at times, or maybe that's just your concentration phase. Either way, I would make sure that when you're on stage, I would be more aware of what your face is doing because there were there was a point where I was like, are you are you good? But like, the whole performance itself, like the technique was great, I think the song choices were great, I think the energy could have like had more peaks and troughs, but again, you look stunning tonight in this, I'm pretty sure I have that coat at home, and I'm going to be wearing it when I go to bed, and luxuriating myself, and I think yes, you look gorgeous tonight. Thank you so much, Franz, and finally, Marky, thoughts on you, Dubai. So that jumpsuit is beautiful, the, the fabric, the ribbons, absolutely stunning. And so, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm really impressed by your violin playing. I think you should definitely do that. That is one of the hardest instruments to play, aside from the saw, obviously. But, no, but generally, <laughs> but generally, like, violins are, are not easy. Playing an instrument on a stage is not easy. I have the bitch face like you when I play my song. You're just concentrating, you're trying to listen, and you have it even harder because you have to hold it there. And mics are a bitch as well to get all of that lined up. So, I think you should keep it. I can say I get booked because of my song, so definitely that's, that's your thing you do. You do it so, so well. Um, but it's similar to what you're saying. People don't have the attention span for it. They don't. You know, it's just, it's going to drag on you. They don't, you know what I mean? No matter how good you are. So it's like finding ways to bring it out randomly if you're doing a lip song and then pull out a violin from your hoo ha. Do you know what I mean? Like, that, that will get you booked. So don't, just keep doing it. Just definitely keep doing it. Judges, I want to say from my perspective, the point of this challenge is to push you out of your comfort zone as drag performers. We generally do lip sync, but this week you all showed so much talent on the stage and everything you brought, keep up. 
These are all things you can get booked for. So keep doing it. Whatever happens this evening, I'm sure we will see you doing the exact same thing on a stage very, very soon. Okay? Thank you so much. Okay. I am going to reveal the contestant who is safe and through to the finale who will not be lip syncing. Okay? So can I get a drum roll, please? The contestant safe and proceeding to the finale is... Kneecaps. Congratulations, my love. That does mean Venus and Eve, you will be the bottom two this evening. You may leave the stage to get ready. Please, best friends, for every contestant.